Thank you for coming to watch this brief introductory video to, in turn, another video, which I'm sure you've logged on to see. So, um, very briefly here, as you know, Panorama for the BBC are launching a, a really big attack on the British National Party in general and myself as an MEP in particular. Now, the BBC, I think everybody knows, is biased. Everybody knows that it would have been logical for the BBC to come and talk to the British National Party and to me, for instance, after the riots, given that we warned that this sort of thing was going to happen. It would be logical for them to come and talk to us when they're talking about the problem of Islamic terrorism because we actually pointed out to the police before they did it the area, probably even the very Muslim gang which carried out the 7-7 attacks and I personally was tried for having predicted exactly what was going to happen in London on 7-7. So whenever that issue arises they should come and see us. Nationalists, as you may or may not know, have been vehement and the leaders in terms of criticising banking and the international banking system for decades and as it now all crumbles down, we're the ones who should be there talking about what's gone wrong, what's the fundamental corruption within the banking system and how on earth it can be put right because there are answers. These things can be sorted out if um, we end up with governments who are there to put their own people first and the real economy first instead of being the puppets of the banks. That's what Panorama should come and talk to us about but instead they're coming and attacking us with second, third hand smears by external political opponents and a tiny clique of people who have personal vested interests, for instance in trying to get me out so they can get my job. So that's what they should be doing, that's what they are doing. What the Panorama are trying to do here is trial by media. Simply throw enough accusations against us, we can answer them all, but some of the mud sticks. That was their plan. Uh, it's a, a psychological trick to have a problem and then immediately after that have one of us uh, on there talking inevitably defensively uh, about the attacks put against us. Uh, so we debated this and as you'll see on this video we decided no. We've had enough of the Panorama bullies, the, B the BBC bullies coming and constantly pushing at us and we sit there in a chair and we do our best to, honest, to answer, we on uh, answer honestly and so on and then they cut and splice and make our honest answers actually somehow condemn us. So we decided no we're not going to do that. What you're about to watch is a classic, it's absolutely brilliant. I hope you'll actually find it funny because we've got a group of BBC bullies who clearly are absolutely used to the fact that when they stick a camera in someone's face and start hurling abuse at them, uh, they crumble and back off and look defensive. And this time it happened to them. The video you're about to watch shows exactly how and what happens when the tables are turned on the bullies. This happened last Sunday. It's uh, as it happened there. We've got Dara McIntyre from Panorama. You've got the producer. Watch him shake like this. Watch him sweat. See the guilt in their eyes uh, and see the discomfort in their eyes as the kind of tricks that they were trying to pl play on us are actually played on them. Watch it. Enjoy it and learn and in particular then come back immediately after that program we'll give our full responses in a way that they can't edit because you the viewers you know the supporters the members of the party you're entitled to all the complete answers panorama aren't entitled to a shred of anything which they'll then cut and splice to try and make us look bad in pursuit of their own political agenda this is just the start of our fight back we're launching a war against the BBC. We simply had enough of these people and their whole politically correct agenda and they're bullying not just of us but of so many people all around the country. One last thing for instance, did you know that the most common cause of women being in prison in Britain today is the fact that they couldn't pay their TV licence and then they take this money, these BBC people, and they pay like £600,000, £800,000 a year to their main man there. Absolutely obscene expenses claims. This is a liberal elite out of control and what you're about to see is part of the first fight back against it. Enjoy watching it. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for taking part in that, that debate. Very helpful, very interesting. I want, for the avoidance of any possible doubts, actually now to take just a, a show of hands because uh, I know there's a number of people who haven't spoken. So I want to take a, a show of hands on those who think that we should indeed simply be completely open, let them do what they want, uh, and then trust that they, how they manipulate it, we're still okay. And those who think that our plan of the statement and closing it down 
with the risks that that entails of being appearing to dodge things and so on, whether that's the better option. So those in favour of simply letting them come in and put us on the witness stand, please show, raise your hands, those who are. Okay, those in favour of the course of action that we've outlined in terms of the statement and restricting it, raise your hands. Okay, any abstentions? Right, okay, that's unanimous. Thank you very much. So, as generally, in fact, the real party is of like mind. That's very good. Thank you. Right, yeah. right, right chaps. We're, we're, oh. we're finishing up now. We've got the BBC crew who are going to do a little bit with us. So, if you want in, in the middle, if that's okay. How many of them of you are there? Three. Three. So, you're Mr. Yeah. McIntyre? Correct. Yes. Donald, Donald's brother, yeah? That's correct. I met you, brother. Very good. Nice yeah. chat. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Good chat with you. Yeah. We had a meal with you in yeah. Wales. Hello, Mr. Griffin. How are you? Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. We need to have and are we doing it with you or yes. everyone? Just me. And everyone's Just staying? Me. Yes. Yep. Why? Why because not? This isn't, you know. Well, it's we're doing it all. How many professional politicians have you interviewed? <coughs> Quite a few. I've never interviewed them. Well, we're yeah. used to it. <laughs> we are, we are no other professional politician has been dealt with as I was on question time, but as you can see. Let's start off with. Um, a short statement by Nick Griffin. Thank you. The BBC is blatantly biased against all of us who stand up for traditional Christian values and for the preservation of the identity and culture of the British in general and the English in particular. Because of this, the BBC is institutionally hostile to the British National Party. You'll remember the Question Time lynch mob and the fact that the BBC have once again moved the goalposts to deny us the four further Question Time appearances which we should already have been given. This despite the admission in writing from the BBC producer of this programme that the British National Party is, quote, a major political party, unquote. The last BBC attack on the British National Party involved the use of paid left-wing infiltrator Andy Sykes and an undercover BBC journalist Jason Gwynne, posing as party officials and activists. Those individuals wormed their way into positions of trust that they then betrayed in order to give the BBC the bogus expose they wanted. The BBC smear used their undercover recordings and selective editing in a deliberate effort to have the leader of an elected political party, backed by more than a million voters, thrown into prison for the crime of calling for justice and protection for the innocent young victims of Muslim paedophile gangs. It would be a far better use of taxpayers' money if the BBC would address truly serious social evils and real political scandals, such as the Labour 25 paedophile shame, or the outrage of former ministers taking directorships with companies which benefited financially from their decisions while in government. Fortunately, the BBC attempt to use taxpayers' money to subvert the democratic process by jailing me failed. But give, because of such underhand behaviour by the BBC, we believe that it is incapable of giving the British National Party, or any genuine defender of British rights and freedoms, a fair hearing. We are being attacked with a tissue of weak and deceitful lies, distortions and half-truths from disgruntled former employees and individuals with axes to grind. Given the BBC's track record of working closely with far-left infiltrators to smear our party, we have no doubt that the same is being done this time around as well. The allegations and fantasies of such biased witnesses are worthless. We can answer all their points, but the trick the BBC is playing on viewers is that of throwing enough mud in the hope that some of it will stick. This is not accidental. The controlled media are experts in manipulating public opinion. This programme is a cynical attempt to brainwash the British public and we refuse to take part in a way that helps the BBC to do so. We will be answering all the allegations made in full, but we'll do so on our own website, bmp.org.uk, because we believe that people have the right to hear complete explanations rather than having the BBC manipulate their minds through smear by association and leaving the truth on the cutting room floor. In addition, if the producer wishes to provide us with specific written questions about any of the allegations, then we will give full written answers for use in the programme. Finally, recognising the genuine popular interest in our party, we challenge the BBC to give a panel of party spokesmen, including myself, a live one-to-one -one interview on Newsnight immediately after the programme is broadcast, so that the issues raised can be discussed openly and fairly without the use of sensationalist propaganda or selective editing. Because of the BBC's shocking record of bias against our party, already outlined in this statement and exposed in much greater depth on our website, that is all we will be saying on this matter. Thank you. Mr Oliver, you are the producer of this Panorama programme. We've got some very serious allegations about the BBC and the staff. We're going to start off with the first one. How much is this programme costing? Why is it that you keep harassing the British National Party. This is the third 
programme, the third programme. Let me ask the questions. The third programme. What about these serious allegations? There's very serious... Peter Rowell... Tell me about bugging in the BNP. Peter Rowell, Did the chairman right? ever he is a BBC the BNP? Pre presenter currently on child for raping children. What about Straight James Raven? James Raven, James Raven was the man who worked with McIntyre on cover. How much money? Who was done for murder? How much money do you murder? Have he was he was lodged in he court murdered right now. somebody. How much he money murdered are you somebody. being sued for right he now? He murdered somebody. He's a BBC 20, reporter. Pounds you've got down against your name, is that right? Mur he murdered somebody. You're up, you and your Mr. Oliver. Will you answer the questions? Will you, would you would you answer those questions about why a convicted murderer was working for a BBC investigative uh, program? His name was James Raven. He tortured somebody in front of his children, tortured them with a staple gun and a branding well, iron. Would be fair Ashley to say Blake. The BNP did not run a Ashley candidate. Blake. Why won't you answer the question? Known as why won't you answer the porn star? Why won't you answer the question? The BBC questions? did not run as these a candidate. These are very serious. Uh, these are criminal convictions of murder and convicted. child rape. This the case is going in, in, in October. Peter Rowell, BBC presenter. What about the a BBC's expenses? Porn Mr. Oliver, can you tell us about the BBC's expenses? You're shaking. Why won't you answer the questions? Six thousand four hundred pounds in expenses for luxury travel well, I when be, ordinary, British, be people, European expenses ordinary British people Tell us about the European are being expenses. jailed. How do you feel about it? How you much have you been paid? We would have loved to have asked your We would have loved to have asked your party chairman. You get public money. We would have loved to have asked your party chairman. How much are you being paid? Simon, do you know what? How much have you been paid for this? Simon, you're doing it in a very unconventional way. I'm afraid you're not going to get your answers. You're not going to answer our questions? No, because... And you expect us to? No, because you, sir, are... You are a senior officer... To donate to the British National Party, please call 0844 809 4581 or go to www.bnp.org.uk forward slash donations forward slash general. Or you may send your cheque or postal order to P.O. Box 213, Wigton, Cumbria, CA7 7AL. Also visit our website on www.bnp.org.uk.